Hello everyone, greetings, salutations to all. It's Sam, and welcome back to Chess Club, Chess 101 with Sam. So, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Alright, so last week we, we learned how to play um, chess, a full game with a king. We learned about check and checkmate. <clears throat> so, this, um, this week we're going to go over some opening moves. Alright? But before that, I'd like to teach you of a pretty cool move, a technique called the castling. All right, so let's say I move my pawn d4. All right, my opponent moves there. Pawn d5. I advance my bishop to e2. So I move that pawn to e6 and I move my knight to f3 alright my opponent let's say my opponent then moves their bishop here to d6 alright so now I have an opening between my knight or my sorry my rook and my king with the two spaces I can move my king over and then switch my my rook over. Um, and this technique is called castling. This is called the kingside castle. So when you find yourself in a position where the space is open between the rook and the king, you simply move it over two spaces. Put your you switch a rook with the rook and lock it in. It's called castling. This is a kingside castle. You can also do this on the opposite side with the queen. Sorry. On the queen side. So let's say it's an open space between this rook and the king. Like king side castle, you would simply move over two spaces and then you would switch the, the rook over here on the um, right side of the king. So this is the queen side castle. So you can castle both ways. The only ways that you cannot castle are if there's rules to it. So you can't castle if your king has been already moved or the rook has been already moved. You also cannot castle if by castling you're putting yourself in check. Remember last week went over check, check is when the king is being attacked. So let's say, for example, there's the queen on d4. All right. Now there's a straight line here. So the queen is attacking this space on d1. So if the king was to move over, he'd be putting himself in check. So the king would not be able to make that transitioning of castling the queen side because he would be putting him in jeopardy of putting himself in check and he would not, so it would be for, uh, prohibited. The same would go for the king side castle. If there's something in the way, say the queen is here on uh, d3, king is on, on uh, e1 tries to transition over one space to the right the queen is attacking diagonal on um, f1 so he'll be putting himself in check he'll be prohibited from making that transition all right so i wanted to go over that first and that is called castling if you remember you can cast the king side two spaces to the right let's move the bishop over to the left side of the king or you can cast the queen side, move the king over two spaces to the left, and the rook transitions to the right side of the king. Right. So the first opening move that I'm going to teach you today is uh, Rai Lopez. All right. So we're going to start it off. You're going to move your pawn to e4, white pawn to e4. So we move black pawn to e5. We would then move uh, the white knight to f3. And so we move black knight to c6. So we would then move white bishop to b5. Pressure on the knight. 
And this opening move here is called the Ride Lopez. So here's it. Let's change this so you see, see it at a different angle. Okay. This is the Ride Lopez. Angle. It's pretty good. I hope this is a good angle for you guys. So our next opening move. So this is an opening for white. Alright. Next opening move I'm gonna go over is um is a pretty popular one. There's even a Netflix show about it. It's called The Queen's Gambit. No, I have not watched the show yet, but I hear it's pretty good, so maybe I will. All right. So the Queen's Gambit is the pawn to d4, white pawn to d4. Let's say we move black pawn to d6, then move white pawn to c4. So this opening right here, the Queen and Bishop, this is the Queen's Gambit. All right, pretty simple. Right. So the reason why I'm going over these uh, opening moves also because you know a lot of people don't know how to start their chess game. You know they don't really know how to start it off. So these opening moves, you know, for practice, you know, with practicing these opening moves would would help you transition into and 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 find uh, and tr transition into your your chess game, make it a little bit easier, make that transition a little bit easier. A lot of times people don't know how to start, you know, they don't know what to do to, to, to start the game off. Uh, so, you know, try some of these opening moves, see which one works best for you. You know, this is just a, a couple that I'm going to go over today. In the future videos, we'll go over some more. But, uh, yeah, let's get back to it. Uh, yeah, so we just learned the Queen's Gambit, which is the pawn to c4, and then, um, sorry, the pawn to d4. And then the pawn to c4. All right. So we're gonna teach you how to counter that. I'm gonna teach you a, a defensive move for black called Nimzo Indian defense. All right. So let's say the opening move d4. Black would then move to f6. The I'm sorry, the knight to f6. So we go to the c4 for the queen's gambit. You then move your pawn to e6. And let's say white moves knight to c3. Alright. And then black. And then move bishop to b4. This defense for black to counter the queen's gambit is called the Nimzo Indian defense. All right. Now you're putting pressure on the knight. The knight can't be moved because then the king king will then be in charge. Uh, pretty cool. It also allows you to go into the castle, which we just learned earlier in the video. All right. last opening move that I'm going to teach you is since we learned the Queen's Gambit, it's only right to learn the King's Gambit. So, the King's Gambit is going to be white pawn to e4. I'll say black to e6. And a pawn to f4. So just like the Queen's Gambit would open up the front of the queen and um, bishop is when it opens up in front of the king and bishop. I like this this opening move a lot, you know. I don't use it as often, as much as I should, but I really do enjoy using it. 
Um, it allows you know the queen to come out, the bishops. It allows different variations. All right, so that's about all the opening moves that we're gonna cover today. Um, I hope this helped. Thank you for tuning in. Until next week, have a wonderful evening. Right, may the force be with you. Peace out.